are joined by Clemson head coach Davo Sweeney. And coach, first of all, congratulations. It's already been a big morning for you. Your son Drew got his NBA, so I know that's exciting. This is exciting too, but when you say you're practicing at Jervy Meadows, this is probably not the kind of weather you're trying to dial up for the guys. No, I would say this team is probably destined for greatness because <laughs> to be great and have a magical season, you got to have some luck along the way. So two days in a row, they've been a little lucky with the weather. So, hey, they're catching some breaks already. Hopefully that'll continue to go our way. Coach, obviously the talk of the town is your new offense and bringing in Coach, uh, you know, Garrett Riley there and the, the new system, the explosiveness. I've been lucky enough. You let me come to practice a couple of days. Uh, the biggest thing that I can say is confidence and excitement offensively. I know that's what you were shooting for. Yeah, just, yeah, again, just reinstilling some confidence and, and uh, you know, we're, we're a veteran group now. I mean, we've got, we lost one offensive lineman. We got our backs back. They're juniors. Brenny's a junior. Bo's a junior. Antonio's had that freshman year now. Cole's had some experience. Adam has had a freshman year. So we're a really veteran group. Cade's had a, a year of experience. And then with Garrett coming in, man, he's brought a little swagger. And the guys, biggest thing, again, like you said, just confidence. They've really bought in since January. The coaching staff has done a great job. It's been a lot of fun to watch it. And, it's been a competitive camp, which is what you want to see. And Coach, you mentioned competition at running back. I mean, both of those guys could start anywhere in the country. Yep. What's the relationship like between Will Shipley and Phil Moffitt? They they room together. You know, they're 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 they came in as roommates and and uh, they're they're best of friends. They push each other. They compete with each other. You know, they're they're the yin and the yang. You know, they they uh, they're both destined for a great year. Both of those guys are healthy all year. Man, it's. It's going to be a tough duo to stop for sure. They're going to they're going to get theirs, you know, each and every game, and and they're both just great human beings, you know, great people, but they love each other. They serve their teammates. Uh, they complement each other, you know. They both got power. They both got speed. They both can catch the ball, uh, but that, yet they still have their own personalities and how they go about their business. And uh, it's exciting. And I, I love our room. I mean, we've got a really good group of backs. You know, behind them and Dominique and Keith and the two young guys, Jarvis and, and Jay Haynes, that just got here. So uh, I think you'll see that as the season plays out too. You'll see the depth, but it'll 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 start with with uh, Phil and Chip for sure. Okay, so I, I kind of let everything settle and I can talk about the big boys. I'm excited about them, Coach. I'm jacked up. You guys had some really competitive drills yesterday. First time going live, they dominated. What are you most excited about up front? Knowledge, you know, they got knowledge, uh, you know, and knowledge is a powerful thing, especially when you're in the OL, you know, even when you're all wrong, you're all right. That's right. You know, and so they're just rarely not on the same page. They're really connected group. And, you know, that group has got their own chemistry within the team. And uh, so same thing. We only lost one offensive lineman and he's with the Chargers now. So they're all back. And I think we have recruited really, really well. I think we've hit on, you know, these guys that we brought in. We got a good redshirt junior group and junior group with a guy like Marcus Tate. We feel good about our centers. This time last year, we were trying to get our center position with Putnam, never snap. We got three centers that we know we can go play with today in Trent and Lenticum and Putnam. Uh, and we got versatility, you know. So what we're trying to do is, you know, who's the best five? And right now, we really have about eight guys that are competing to be in the best five. And I really think we got 12 guys that we can go play. Wow. And uh, so that's the biggest thing is just some depth, functional depth, and some tough dudes, man, that are taking a lot of pride in their job. Emac mentioned that drill yesterday. I knew that there was a way he was going to try to get the O-line in, and he did, but he should after what we saw yesterday. Yeah, Coach. I apologize for that, Kels. No, I, no. I, if, I, if we were going to see a drill a lot, that was a great one to watch. Well, I apologize. It was, you know, but hey, we got to do it right. You got to do it. But, but that's what I want to talk about, the standard that you have. Obviously, there's a lot of things, whether it's hard work, discipline, focus that goes into this. What is it that you're looking to see from these guys in these practices? Well, you said it, focus. You know, it takes a, it takes a daily focus. You know, it takes a daily decision uh, to, to show up with the right mindset. And when you play this game, it starts with having your mind right. You got to have the right mentality. You got to have the right mindset every single day uh, because, you know, there are no off days. And you know, we get 15 days to play the game if everything goes perfect, like, right? So, so it's those other 350 days that really, I mean, that's, that makes or breaks you. All you got is each other. We don't get preseason games. I mean, we got each other. And we're fortunate because if you don't show up here, you, you get exposed. But so it comes down to 
You know, if you're going to win the 15, you got to win the 350. And if you're going to win the 350, you got to win the day. And how you win the day, you just be present and engaged and locked into what you're doing right now. And so uh, this team is bought into that. They understand that, that everything matters. It's all important uh, when that day shows up. And uh, so, you know, I'm excited about it. we got good, good leadership. This is the most accountable team we've had from, you know, we have a lot of metrics in our program that, you know, we can kind of see where the team is. And this is the most, it's the fewest negative accountability points we've had. I know that's uh, nice. Yeah, man, nice. ever. And, uh, wow. and it's the fastest team we've had. Uh, you know, you know, we got the GPS, and we've been doing this for years. Uh, so we're athletic, we're strong, they're, they're, they're close, um, and uh, you know, now we got to, we got to, we got to. You, you only get good at football by practicing football. So now we got to develop that mental toughness to go along with the physical toughness to get them game ready. Coach, we're here at Jervy Meadows. This training camp is supposed to be ugly and hard, but you also got the sounds from DJ Shea, right. Emac told me about. So how long did it take you? Was there any convincing uh, of you to get a DJ out here to really help the players kind of get going? Because I think it helps the environment. It's no, really it was, fun. It was my idea. Your idea. Uh, we, we, we've been doing that. that. We've been doing that for 10 years probably. Uh, at least. At least 10 or 11 years. You know, we started playing a little light music, and then, and then I met DJ Shea. Uh, or, I, or I said, hey, I'm looking for a DJ, yeah. and they, they introduced me to him. Nice. And uh, maybe he was the cheapest guy at the time. I don't know. <laughs> but but he's, he's a popular he's guy. He's awesome. He, though, he, he's yeah. been our guy ever since. Yeah. And, um, you know, so we bring him out during camp, you know, a few days. But we always have music, always just kind of awesome. have a little energy. And, you know, it's, that's, that's kind of what these guys are used to. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's uh, it's been fun, and coaches like it too, as long as they let me get in the rotation on the playlist. <laughs> right, right, you know? right. What's your go-to, coach? Oh <laughs> man, little ain't no mountain high. Hey, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ain't no valley. It. You know, we we all that stuff. No yeah. river wide enough. Yeah, you know, yeah. Just a little, just mix it up a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna jump in one more time. Coach, your secondary. You got Nate Wiggins coming back, Andrew McCuba. How have those guys played throughout camp? Yeah, they've been excellent. This is this is honestly probably the deepest group of corners that we had um, you know in, in a long long time or maybe since I've been here uh, we really love that group that room there's a ton of competition we've hit on those freshmen several of them are gonna be able to help us the guys from last year Toriano and Jay Lou have you know or, or have gotten a year of experience and then Nate man he's he's a and Sherry is, is the old vet those are two great great uh, knowledgeable guys and then we're really fortunate at safety with a bunch of experience there uh, so this is and that's honestly if we throw the ball better if we have a if, if our pass offense gets back where it needs to be from a confidence and execution standpoint and our pass defense is, is better um, and we're not giving up some big play bus you know, people make plays yeah. but big play bus and clean up some technique, then I think we'll have a chance to win more games you know, than we won last year. We won 11, so you know, we win more than 11, we're gonna have a chance to have a special year. So. Coach, camp is always a time where young guys get a lot of reps, and, and you know, it's opportunity because you know, a lot of them just got here in the summer, some in the spring have a little bit of an advantage, especially on the defensive side. Who are some of those young guys that you've seen that are just popping and making the most of their opportunity? T.J. Parker. Peter Woods, you know, y'all probably heard a lot about him. Uh, you know, Wade Woodass doesn't, Wade Whoopass, uh, he, he, he doesn't get talked about a lot, but he's just a sophomore and played a lot as a freshman, but this guy is a dude, man. And, uh, you know, but I'm really excited about all those young guys that we have inside. You know, Woods, Burley, Steph Island, they're all showing up. Uh, Hoffler just got here. That kid, David Ojebwe, looks like a, he looks like a guy in an NFL camp right now just got here. First time I've been able to put my eyes on him. I'm super excited about those those young DBs, Avion Terrell, AJ's little brother, Shelton Lewis, Strozier. I mean, it's a it's just a really good group of young talent. Uh, it's, you know, and they, they've all, there's nobody I'm disappointed in. And then on the offensive side, Harris Sewell, yeah. big, big flat hey, jack. He had a big, he had yeah. a big day big, yesterday. Big flat jack. And uh, my man Ian Reed, we got three, three good young offensive linemen in here that got a lot of great days ahead of them as Tigers. Coach, I got two quick things for you before you go. We mentioned your son getting his MBA today. You were the first in your family with a college degree. Yep. Now you've got two sons. I know it's all about family. It's all about football, but it's yep. about the education, too. You've got to be really proud. Well, that's what education does. You know, it creates generational change and transformation in, in, in not just individuals' lives, but your family's lives. And, you know, I, I was a, that was an incredible moment for me 
walking across that stage May of 93 and getting being the first in my family, parents, grandparents, great grandparents, great, great, great grandparents. And uh, and then and then to go get my master's, I went and got my MBA and, and then ended up being able to put my oldest brother through college to finish up college. Uh, he ended up graduating from Sanford in his late 30s. Um, you know, that, that, that's special. And then to see now two boys, both NBAs, Will Andrew, and then Clay is a sophomore. Uh, you know, that doesn't happen if, 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 if I don't walk across that stage mm -hmm. and value education. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so I'm just really, you know, blessed that our family tree, if you will, grew another trunk mm -hmm. um, because of education. And that's why I always talk about that. And we don't talk about that. We talk about a lot of things, but nobody talks about the value of an education anymore. You know, nobody. Every year, for every scholarship player at Clemson, it's like $150,000 every year, every year. And uh, man, it's, it's a huge investment into the future version of themselves and trying to build men and equip transformational leaders that can go out and, and just, man, lead the world. Yeah. Uh, and it, start, it starts with that education process. And, and I, I'm, I'm proud, of, proud of my boys for, for uh, for going and getting it done because you know I can pay for school you know and just like I tell our guys we can pay for their school but they got to go earn it yeah they got to go do the work they got to earn it and uh so you know proud of them no well, pressure on Clay right yeah man he's <laughs> he's always had the pressure but he, he thrives in it we knew that was important to you so I wanted to get it in the other thing that's important to you is this team bonding and we got to be on the lake day yesterday before we get into that I want to play a little video take a look all you gonna do is right here. We're gonna win today at Lake Kiwi. Come on, Steph. 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 Come on, Yeah, uh, Coach, uh, you, I stopped you because you said, as that was playing, I could have done a backflip. You could have done a flip. I could have done a front flip. Oh, I, I could have dove, but, you know, I'm trying to teach a bunch of scaredy cats, <laughs> you know, and so, you know, I'm trying, let's just keep it simple, jump, get your arms down. You were coaching you know. them up, too. Yeah, get them yeah, yeah. So we, we finally got them down, and it's so fun, man. It was so fun, especially seeing, like, Cape Hart and D Trick and, and got him in there. yeah, got him it was there. great. It was great. Then our Amer our American Idol Huckabee, he jumps up and does a double backflip. Oh, wow! But it was it was a, it's always a great day no and an opportunity for these guys to really know. You know, a lot of kids. The reason we started doing that is a lot of guys come here, they don't really know what's all around them. Yeah. And uh, man, we've got lakes and mountains. I mean, Lake Kiwi. There are people from all over the country that come to Lake Kiwi, from California to Naples, Florida to Connecticut, they're all over that that come to this lake. It's beautiful. And so I want our guys to experience that. And you know, we were eight days in camp. It's a good chance to break the monotony. We had a really tough practice. <laughs> so, you know, to go jump in the lake and and uh, have some fun with each other is a great opportunity to just bond and spend some time outside of you know what we're doing now. Well, it was a great day and we appreciate you letting us be a part of it and seeing it up close and personal. You've been a part of it, it before. Got his, he got we're a little gonna, sunburn. He got a little sun. We need, a we need to do better on that.